Okay, before we move on to our examples, there are three special cases of which you should be aware. Log to the base a of 1 over x is equal to the negative log to the base a of x. So that's the power law when k equals minus 1. Log to the base a of a is equal to 1. And log to the base a of 1 is equal to 0. You can prove these if you want. And we'll move on to examples now. So I've got three examples here to start with. And in example A, I have log to the base 3. of 6 plus log to base 3 of 7. So I'm going to look at my three laws above there. Which one can I use? I'm going to use the multiplication law to simplify. That gives me log to the base 3 of 6 times 7, which is equal to log to the base 3 of 42. Example B, I've got log to the base 2 of 15, minus log to the base 2 of 3, I'm going to look at my three laws here. Which one should I use? It's minus, so I'm going to use my division law. So that's going to give me log to the base 2 of 15 divided by 3, which is going to be equal to log to the base 2 of 5. And example C. I've got 2 log to the base 5 of 3 plus 3 log to the base 5 of 2. So for this one, I'm going to have to use two of the, uh, two of the laws. First, I'm going to use the power law to simplify. So I have 2 log to the base 5 of 3. I can rewrite that as log to the base 5 of 3 squared minus log to the base 5 of 2 to the power of 3. Sorry, that's a plus. That's equal to using the multiplication law. Actually, I'll simplify it first. Log to the base 5 of 3 squared, which is 9 plus log to the base 5 of 2 cubed, which is 8, and simplify. I'm going to say that's equal to log to the base 5 of 9 times 8, and 9 times 8 is 72. So this example, we have to simplify log to base 10 of 3. minus 4 log to the base 10 of a half. So I'm going to leave my log to the base 10 of 3 as it is. Minus, I'm going to use the power law here to simplify this first. Log to base 10 of a half raised to the power of 4. That's going to give me log to the base 10 of 3 minus, and don't reach for the calculator, you can do this one, log to the base 10, a half to the power of 4 is going to be 1 over 16. And now I can use the division law, and that's going to give me log to the base 10 of 3 divided by 1 over 16. So that gives me log 
it's base 10 of 3 times the reciprocal 16 over 1 which is just 16 so that's going to give me log to base 10 of 48 so this time I've got to write in terms of log to the base a of x, log to the base a of y, and log to the base a of z. First expression I've got to simplify a is given by log to the base a of x squared, y, and z cubed. So that's going to be equal to. I can split them up, because they are all multiplied, the variables, I can split them up using the addition law. So log to the base a of x squared plus log to the base a of y plus log to the base a of z cubed. Now I can simplify this further. Because it's uh, log to the base a of x squared, I can write 2 log to the base a of x using the power law plus log to the base a of y which is equal, uh, sorry not equal, plus log to the base a 3 log to the base a of z. Let's have a look at b. Which law are we going to use for that? So that's giving me log to the base a of x over y cubed. My first step to simplify that is going to use the division law. That's going to give me log to the base a of x minus log to the base a of y cubed. y cubed, that's better, which is going to be equal to log to the base a of x minus 3 log to the base a of y. Third example, c, we have log to the base a of x square root of y over z. So that's going to give me log to base a of x plus log to the base a of the square root of x, square root of y, which is y to the power of a half, minus log to the base a of z. I can rewrite that then as log to the base a of x plus a half log to the base a of y minus log to the base a of z. And that leaves us with the final example d. That's going to be log to the base a of x over a to the power of 4. So I think we can write this straight away and then decipher it afterwards. So you could say this is log to the base a of x minus log to the base a of a to the power of 4 using the property that's just going to give me 4. Another example, this time I'm going to solve the equation log to the base 10 of 4. Plus 2 log to the base 10 of x is equal to 2. I'm going to leave my log to the base 10 of 4 as it is. But using the power law, I can change this to log to the base 10 of x squared equals 2. I can use my addition law 
that's going to tell, give me log to the base 10 of 4 times x, which is going to be 4x squared, is equal to 2. Now then, can I rewrite this using the exponential? I think I can. 10 squared is equal to 4x squared. So that means 100 is equal to 4x squared. I can divide 100 by 4, which is equal to x squared. That's 25 equals x squared. And that means then that x is equal to the square root of 25, which is 5. You can only have a positive solution because the log to the base 10 of x is only defined for positive values. Okay, so solve this equation log to the base 3 of x plus 11. minus log to the base 3 of x minus 5 is equal to 2. I'm pretty confident that you can uh, you can solve this one on your own. So pause it, have a go, and then come back to the solution. So I'm going to use my division law, first of all. That gives me log to the base 3 of x plus 11 divided by x minus 5 is equal to 2. I can rewrite that as an exponential. So I could say 3 squared is equal to x plus 11 divided by x minus 5. Now 3 squared is 9. I'm going to bring the x minus 5 up here. So that's going to be 9 times x minus 5 is equal to x plus 11. So 9x minus 45 is equal to x plus 11. Bring the x's over to the left hand side gives me 8x is equal to take the 45 over that side gives me 56. So x is going to be 56 divided by 8 which is 7. So your turn now. You've got these uh, six questions. Have a go at them all. Should be okay. Good luck.